Me and Dan heard about this forbidden path on the river behind the woods. And we were curious, so we did some digging. There are stone structures that are green. It is rumored that they are now used by a cult of human sacrifices. Inside are holes coated with some kind of green substance. On the back is an old monastery with Hebrew writing on it. Orbs have appeared in photos. To get in there, from point A to B, it's about two miles. All right, what's up guys? Me and Dan are on this forbidden path that is pretty much like a satanic worship place. So guys, this is pretty, pretty scary, um, really spooky too. And what's even more spooky is Kate Blood's grave is like seriously like right there. So yeah, guys, it's pretty spooky. We're gonna get some shots. We're gonna do some exploring for you guys and we'll talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, so yeah, we've actually heard some really creepy stuff. They apparently have these like green stone structures here. And yeah, guys, it's pretty creepy. Satanic, they've also found many satanic ritual sites. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, we're gonna keep exploring. We'll talk to you in a minute. The green stones in the trail are the grottos and they normally have Catholic figures in them to keep the satanic worshipers around. Mm -hmm. It's their backstory and these ones, we haven't checked them out yet. If they don't have Catholic figures in them, it's that would be, a be long pretty. Night. That's gonna be a long night. And yeah, guys, we're actually gonna be sitting in the grottos, and they say there's this weird green residue from human sacrifices or something. So, but we're gonna send it. We're gonna sit in there because you know what? We gotta do it for you guys to show you if this is real or fake. So, we will talk to you guys in a little bit if we find anything interesting. All right, guys, we're just walking and. Anyway. We literally see this fence that it's like, I think that they like put off so that you can't get through. But yeah, apparently a lot of people have been sticking through because I'll show you the, I'll show you the fence right now. Look at guys, there's literally like open gaps where you can go through. So we're gonna go through and wish see if we luck. can find any creepy stuff and wish us luck guys. Yo guys, we found one of the grottos, guys. We found one of the, oh my God, dude. Yo, dude, this is so creepy. That's where they do the satanic worships. <gasps> Wait, dude, dude. There's no, Catholic, there's no, there's no, no figure. Catholic figure, dude. Dude, dude, they actually got removed? Bro, who removed them, dude? Guys, this thing is massive. Do you see, I'm five foot two inches tall, and this thing is at least like seven or eight. Dude, what the hell, you see that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, is that blood, bro? Holy crap. Dude, what the hell is that? Alright, what's going on, guys? This is the grotto right here. Um, and yeah, it's pretty spooky. So let me tell you some facts about these things. These were made in around the 1800s around there when the priests at the Catholic Church uh, made these and they put little statues inside of here and as you can tell there's no statue and that's what's really creepy about this because the thing is is that these were Catholic statues and devil worshippers are here they do worships here and of course they don't want a statue that is about Jesus right so of course they took it away and right here there's blood too so but let me tell you a little bit about these things okay guys there's a word that on 12 o'clock at night on a full moon, just like with Cape Blood's grave, it drips blood. These things drip blood. The other thing is, is that um, they are used for human sacrifices, people say, around, around town. And they're also used for satanic worship. So it's pretty creepy. Luckily, we haven't really ran into anything that bad. Oh, wait, we saw blood, so I guess that's pretty bad, guys. But... So yeah, um, this is a grotto, and it's pretty spooky, and we're gonna keep exploring a little bit and see if we can find anything more creepy, but yeah, guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure to like and subscribe too, guys. If you're enjoying the content, like and subscribe. We'll see you in a bit. So we're walking towards the next grotto, and yeah, this is the part of the cemetery. This is part of the St. Joseph Cemetery right here. We see another one. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like right there. But yeah, guys, we're gonna keep hanging. I think we see 
Yeah, I see one. It looks kind of light, though. I don't know what's going on down there. So, all right, we'll see you guys there in a minute. Hey, guys. Um, we're just up next to the next grotto. Um, yo, dude, why the hell am I light? What the? Why did the light go off? Dude, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, do you see what's on the wall of this thing? Oh, my God, guys. We got to get out of here. Let's go. Oh, my God, bro. All right, guys. So, that was the end of our adventure. Um, we're in my basement with this little candle here. And we will see you guys later.